because I'm very excited because I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the show Angel. But it's not for the part that it's not for the part that I was auditioning for before because they already cast that part with another girl. But because I because I'm friends with Emma, there was another part that I could do. I could be in SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild, which is the union. Unions are very important because you have to see the movie Norma Ray to really understand. But they're about helping people not lose their hearing in a factory or helping people not get hurt when they're working. A union will make that so that that doesn't happen. And now that I'm a part of a union, I can also audition for, for parts and, and things like that. And I'm excited about it because it makes me kind of feel like I'm following a path like Emma was telling me about, about Gwyneth Paltrow, who Emma's been having me watch some of, of Gwyneth's movies. And she is a very fine actress. And she definitely knows her acting chops, like Emma was talking about. But, but did you know that the first part that she got was from a friend? It was from a family friend who got, gave her a part in that movie, Hook. Um, but, and so she didn't care, and no one ever says one bad thing about Gwyneth Paltrow, except Emma was telling me that one time J-Lo said something mean, and one time J-Lo said that Gwyneth Paltrow only had a career because she was dating Brad Pitt, which is not true. And Emma says, you know, who has the Oscar? But I don't think J-Lo meant it, and I think that she's probably sorry when she thinks about it. And I'm just excited that I could be a part of maybe meeting Gwyneth Paltrow, or maybe meeting J-Lo, and, and learning about, about, about that, and having interviews myself with press. You have to be very careful what you say. Or you could be like J-Lo and say a mean thing about Gwyneth Paltrow. Maybe you didn't even mean it that way. Maybe it came out different amazing place. It's a loft in Venice. It's multi-layered. It's got all these cool media things in it. We have a great, great response on the RSVPs. And we're getting calls from the press that are interested in knowing who's coming. And so, so Emma, yeah. what's wrong? I, uh, I, I did something really stupid. And I really had great intentions with it, but I just, it didn't really, it didn't turn out, didn't turn out really well, and you're, you're going to be mad at me, because I'm mad at me, and I'd be mad at me if I heard about this, and well, so I bought a bunch of these birds, and these really sweet parakeets, and, and, and I let them go, and I thought, well, that'll be great, I'll let them go, and they'll just hang out in my yard, in the trees, and they'll just, you know, and they, they, uh, I guess I thought that I was really doing a good thing by letting them go, and they they didn't come back. I mean, I put I put Bertie down and everything, and they didn't they didn't come back. I mean, I uh, they probably got eaten by cats that were oh, in the neighborhood. Oh yes, they probably got eaten by cats. Emma, yeah, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. What we need to be mostly concerned about is not talking about this with anyone. Really, you have to be very careful with PETA. They're very vocal. They don't like situations like this. We don't want to be, you know, thought of as animal abusers. So it's, it's my advice to really keep this quiet. Emma let some birds go free in the, in the trees. Excuse me. She's, she might be sad because they might be dead. 
been an interesting time for me. Definitely. This project has it's brought up a lot of issues. A lot of issues. You know, with the way she's just kind of come in and, and dominated the scene, I, 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 my feeling is that she will continue to, you know, just right up there. What am I doing? I mean, I, I, I should be getting these jobs, you know? I should be. I look great for being 29, but, you know, I certainly can't pull off 18 anymore. And, you know, and do I want to? Do I want to try? Do I want to just be breaking my back to play to play that? I mean, why? There's no depth. There's no, there's no future in that. You know, I need to make something of myself. You know, I really need to, I need to, I need to just rethink everything.